Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got a quick video for you today. This here is my 3D printed travel ukulele. Um, you might've seen this back in February. I did a video about this. I got this off of either Etsy or eBay. I forget which one it was. Um, but basically somebody 3D printed this here ukulele. And then after unboxing it, I realized it needed a couple of things. So I added a pickup to it. You can see the jack down here. I put these little swivels here to add a strap and also switched out the tuners. And I've really been pretty happy with it. It's shown up in several of my videos. Third box call midnight train. Destination banger man. But over time, it started to develop a problem. First things first, I actually keep this one tuned F, B flat, D, G. So it is a step down from standard ukulele tuning because it doesn't handle the tension real well. Well, unfortunately, that tension was still more than it could handle and it ended up cracking out the back. So I had to modify it. So this is where we're at now. And uh, to me, I just cut these with a Dremel, these two little slots here. But anyway, the other part, and this is kind of harder to see, maybe I'll put in a picture. As you can see, there is a couple of pieces of metal. Those are just nails that I put through there. So I just took a couple of everyday, you know, like wood nails and just put them through and cut them off to the exact length. And it works great. So now when those strings go across the back, they aren't putting the stress on the bottom panel anymore. They're putting the stress on the nail and the nail of course is through the side where it's good and strong. But what's more, it tunes up so much better now before I had mentioned that it just had some holes for those strings to go through and they would bind and stick and it was hard to get it to tune sometimes where it would like jump tuning either up or down. Um, but now with this setup, it actually tunes a heck of a lot better. So I guess it's kind of a happy accident. I will um, probably send this video to the manufacturer of this so they know because this could probably just be incorporated into the actual print and hopefully make it better for somebody else. So if you've got one of these and if you've experienced the same problem, that's how you fix it. Just get yourself a couple of nails, put them through there and you're good to go.